today I would like to talk about the topic of the witch police. <laughs> I want to talk about the witch police. Have you seen them? Do you know who they are? <laughs> all you have to do is go online. I get them all the time, the witch police. Now the witch police, they really do think that they're doing something good. They think that they know what the craft is and they think they know how it works and they want to make sure everybody is conforming to their understanding of the way things work. But let's, let's let ourselves in on a little secret about the craft. The craft is huge. The craft is infinite. The craft is older than time. The craft is so big that you can't even put your mind around it. Nobody ever will understand the craft in its entirety, nor all of its different emanations and manifestations. And this is the other little secret. They're all legitimate. All of them are legitimate. Even the ones you don't like, even the parts of the craft you don't agree with. Okay, it's all, they all have their place. Now, in my tradition that I grow up in, it's called the Druidic Craft of the Wise, the DCW. And I'm not here to promote a tradition. It's just another facet. But we have a line in that craft that says the craft needs no defense. And so no one person, this is another uh, from our BOS, no person has the right to speak for the craft. No one person has the right to speak for the craft. And what that means is that nobody will ever understand its entirety, its complexity, its immenseness. So to try to, to limit the craft by one person's perspective of this is the craft and this is how it is, is, is uh, missing the point. So... That's why, you, I don't know if you notice, but when you hear me talking, usually I always put some sort of disclaimer out there so that nobody gets the wrong impression. This is how I do things. This is how I practice it. This is how I was taught. This is the tradition as I understand it. This is what has always worked for me. This is how things are in my classes. This is how things were taught to me when I was coming up. That's it. I never say this is the one true way because that's not, that's just not the case. Now, there's, there's a lot of, let's just go down the, 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 the list a little bit here. Okay, here's a few of the things that you see um, just out in the, in, in, and, and there's more, they've always been there, but you didn't see them as much because they, they, we didn't used to have social media. So, you know, you'd have to be out in the, in the, in the, the, the larger craft community or reading the, 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 the different uh, craft periodic, periodicals and stuff that used to exist before we, we, we uh, didn't need them because we have the internet now. But it's always been there. Here's one of them. I, I, I got this one yes, two days ago. I, I get this every few days because I have a, a post on my Facebook uh, page that, that talks about a witch's primer and it says something like um, free witchcraft training or something like that. And um, I always get somebody saying something to the effect of, you can't study to be a witch. You have to be born into it. Isn't that fun? <laughs> like it's just some sort of genetic thing. Like you, you don't have to work. You can, You don't have to study. You just have to have the right genes. Now, what other kinds of trouble do we get into when we say things like you got to be born into it, and you don't have to worry about anything as long as you got the right genes? Isn't that disgusting? Right? I'm not saying there may, might not be some craft families out there. That's fine. That's fine. But it's just not true. There's no, there's, there's no gene that makes you powerful, that, that gets you out of having to do work, that gets you out of having to build up your, your power. I'm sorry. I don't care who your mom is. I don't care how many generations of craft you think that there are in your family. It doesn't mean squat to you unless you do the work. You can, uh, you can be gifted at magic, naturally gifted at magic. You can be born 
wanting the craft, absolutely, or you can be born into a family that practices the craft, but that does not preclude you from having to do the same work that the rest of us have to do to get results. So when you hear that you can't study the craft, you have to be born into it, that's just one more of the witch police trying to um, try, trying to try to have their elitist experience of the craft uh, be justified. And it's not justifiable. And it's not, it's, it's, it, 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 the craft doesn't put up with that. The craft takes care of that. So you don't have to worry, you don't have to tell them no, you don't have to argue with them. Sometimes I'll put it on my Facebook just so that it's there, so that other people who read it can see. But I don't need to convince them. I don't care what they think. <laughs> I really couldn't care less what they think. Here's another one. Um, uh, you can't learn the craft solitary. You have to be initiated. You have to be initiated usually into this particular tradition or this particular coven, or you have to tie yourself to a priestess and, and be beholden to her. That's the only real craft. If you're not initiated in a specific tradition of the craft, you're just not right. It's not real. You just play acting. Okay. There's another. That's another type of elitism, isn't it? Those those police, those those witch police are there to make sure that everybody knows that they're better than you, that they're better than you. Their traditions better than yours. They're more witchy than you. They've got more secrets than you do. You'll never understand how the craft works without their secret BOS. That's, you know, that the craft won't stand for that. And that will be taken care of. But just be aware of it. Just be aware of that. When somebody tells you, oh no, it's not real unless you're initiated. And you better be initiated into something that we say is, is right. So those witch police. These kind of witch police are, are, are extremely uh, annoying. And these are people that I, I, I don't know that this is true. But I have a feeling they tended to be made fun of or outsiders when they were growing up. And so now they're taking the opportunity to be the insiders and to, and to make other people feel bad. Okay, these are people, they're not necessarily, you know, they're, they're okay with you having a different tradition or even being a, um, uh, maybe even a, a solitary, okay, but they don't have any whatsoever interest in having anybody be part of a craft that doesn't conform to what's popular now. <laughs> you have to believe in a god and a goddess. You have to believe in reincarnation. You have to you you can't have any any biblical anything involved with your craft. Uh, it, it has to be based on a, a, a pagan fertility cult that didn't really exist, <laughs> right? So there's all, all kinds of, of false mythology that's been, that's been fostered over the, the past several decades about what the craft really is. And people have bought it hook, line, and sinker, even though several scholars like Ronald H Hutton, for, for one, have disproven most of those, but they don't care. You tow their, their line of what the craft is, or they will make sure to ostracize you because they feel like they have power, because they, they hold um, some, some special uh, um, uh, um, seat or something in, in, in one of these festivals, or they're well-respected, or they're, they're, they have some sort of power. If it's not Gardnerian, it's not real. If it's not Alexandrian, it's not real. If it's not Dianic, it's not real. Those kinds of things are dangerous. Versus, this is how we do things. And if you're doing things with us, we would like you to do it this way. Totally legitimate. Totally legitimate. So the bottom line is this. If you want the craft, it's a good idea to find somebody, a, a good teacher. It is. It's a, it's a great idea to find a good teacher. Somebody that knows what they're talking about. That's got a system. That's got a track record. That's able to actually make magic work. I fully agree with that. But be aware that just because you are learning their system doesn't mean that that's the only craft and that when other people do things differently, that they're not legitimate. 
Now, you hear this, um, pe- uh, I-, I remember how big of a deal it was when Zena LaVey came out with a book called The Satanic Witch. Everybody was up in arms. She's not a witch. She can't call herself a witch. That's not witchcraft. Witchcraft has nothing to do with Satanism. Well, that's not true. Hers does. <laughs> we don't practice Satanism, but she does. So to say that the, the, the craft is that can't include her because she identifies as a Satanist is missing the point of what the craft is. The craft is all-inclusive. The craft doesn't care about that like you do. The craft does not care about that like you do. The craft does not preclude any traditions. The Luciferians have just as right to the craft as uh, as as the Christian witches do, or as the Celtic witches do, or as the as the eclectics or the non-denominational witches. Everybody has a right to the craft. The craft is vast. There are so many different practices. There are so many different traditions, and that's beautiful. And I guess it's just human nature to try to um, to try to divide people and to try to, to discourage people from finding anything that's worthwhile for themselves because we don't want anybody doing things differently than we do because we want to be right. And we want everybody else to be wrong because that makes us feel good. Just be aware of that the next time you see somebody trying to police the craft, that they're trying to feel good about themselves by making you wrong. They, in their way, think that they're doing something good. They think they're doing something right. They don't realize that they're policing. They don't realize, well, some of them do, but oftentimes they don't realize they're policing. They don't realize what they're doing. And it's usually not necessary to argue with them. It's usually a a better idea to just let them go and they'll have to learn it on their own because the craft will teach them. The craft will teach them. Karma or the law of cause and effect is always in operation. It always works. And you don't have to worry about them learning that lesson, but you also don't have to allow them to displace you from your part in the craft, from your part on that, uh, from your place on the path. All right? So it's okay to recognize that you're a novice in certain things and that you don't know certain things. And, and, and within whatever path you're studying, to find out how to do them and to learn from people and to, and to accept and adopt specific practices and specific disciplines. That's absolutely fine. But it's not fine to say that any other discipline is wrong. Does that make sense? Now, I don't know that hoodoo considers themselves part of the craft, but I think the craft would consider hoodoo to be part of them. You know, the craft would include hoodoo. But just because you don't do hoodoo doesn't mean that you're not part of the craft. I think that the craft um, definitely uh, accepts and and, and includes the, the Celtic witches, in, into into its into itself, but it, it but it doesn't exclude anything that's not Celtic. A lot of the the new age new witchcraft that, that that's just you know being made up is included in the craft, but it doesn't exclude everything that's old and more traditional. It includes those familial traditions, but it doesn't exclude anybody that wasn't born into a craft family. So it's super under, it's super important to understand that the, that that disciplining yourself within a specific part of the craft is highly advantageous. You don't want to try to learn everything. You don't want to try to learn everything at once or you just you, you won't get anywhere. Find what you're attracted to, find a path or a tradition or, or a discipline that you're attracted to and commit to it because it can be difficult. It can be challenging and there can be a lot of hard work involved. There usually is. But recognize that when you're doing that, A, that that doesn't mean that people that aren't doing what you're doing are wrong, and B, it doesn't mean that if somebody says what you're doing is wrong, that they're correct. Now, like for instance, the the Psalms. The Psalms have been used in magic for generations, but there are people that don't know about that. And so when they see that, that somebody working psalms and they're they're the witch police and they don't know any better, they'll just say, oh, you can't do that. 
<laughs> that's not part of the craft. You know, it, you get that all the time. And, and they just don't know any better. They don't know what they're talking about. I mean, I could, I could, I could show them, the, uh, you know, how, how that's what they're saying is not true. That doesn't, it's not going to matter to them. They've got their mind made up. They've got their mind made up and they want to shut you down. So don't allow yourself to be shut down. You follow the path that, that gives you the results. You follow the path that your inner guidance is leading you toward. But don't allow yourself to be tripped up by anybody that's trying to delegitimize you because they need to feel better about themselves. And don't you fall into the trap of delegitimizing other people just because you need to feel better about yourself. Okay? So... When it comes to the witch police, they don't exist. They just think they do. They're self-appointed. The craft has no police. There are no witch police. Only people who think that's what they are. You are you, you, I, my recommendation when you come in contact with one of those people is you be polite and you don't even engage. People that think that they're right when they start policing the craft, they rarely change their minds on the spot. So getting into an argument tends to do only one thing, and that is to dig their illusion even deeper into their mind. It tends to really reinforce uh, their position. So it's better for you and also better for them if you just don't engage with the witch police. All right? Well, this has been amazing. I adore speaking with you, and I can't wait till the next time that we're together. And until that time, blessed be. Thank you.